What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.8. Now this just came out recently, and it will help you with a lot of the issues that you've been having with frame rate lag and whatnot, and uh, just overall Minecraft optimization. So we're going to get into it right now, and the way you're going to start off is you're going to go to this website right over here, optifine.net slash downloads, and I'll be sure to leave a link for that in the description. And when you get to the website, you're going to see you have different versions of Optifine, and we're going to be looking at the top right over here. And it has versions that came out for different days, but we're going to focus on the newest one right at the top, which is UA4. So we're just going to click download, and it's going to take us to this AdFly link over here. So we're just going to wait up to five seconds, and then our download should be ready for us. So let's take a look. And there we go. Skip ad, download Optifine 1.8 HD save file and it's going to appear for me right over here this might appear for you somewhere else on the bottom left if you have a different browser but for mozilla firefox this is where it's going to be so this is going to come up over here optifine hd ultra a4 for minecraft 1.8 this installer will install optifine in the official minecraft launcher and create a new profile optifine for it click install optifine is successfully installed and press ok and now you pretty much have optifine good and ready to go so let's open up our minecraft right over here wait for it to load up and we're gonna look at our profiles right here and you're gonna see instantly there's a new profile called Optifine that's been created if this isn't the case for you you can create it yourself or you can just edit the profile you already have so we're gonna edit the profile and if you don't already have the selected release 1.8 Optifine HD UA4 you're gonna wanna do it right now so you see you have a lot of different things over here I have the old 1.7.10 but we're just going to have this one right here. So before you save the profile, I'm going to give you guys a couple other tips on how to speed up your Minecraft a little bit more. Now, if you're just if you're just interested in strictly installing Optifine, you can close the video right now and you're good to go. But there are other ways to make this a lot faster for yourself. Now, also for a little random tip for you who like to upload YouTube videos, if you want to change the resolution to something that fits a little bit more appropriately, you'll change it to 1280 by 720. This is what most YouTubers do and this is what I do myself. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go right over here to executable. This basically will tell you how much, I'm sorry, to JVM arguments. This will tell you how much RAM you want to use when you're playing Minecraft. Now, you'll see right over here, this is the main part you want to focus on. It says 1G. This basically means I'm getting 1 gigabyte of RAM being allocated to Minecraft. Now, most computers have significantly more than this, so you want to be able to allocate as much as possible so that way you prevent lag. Now, the way to actually tell how much RAM you have is you'll go down to your start menu right over here, right click on computer, and then click properties. So once you get over here, you're going to see it says installed memory RAM right in this line, and I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Generally speaking, you want to use roughly half of that and allocate that to your Minecraft. So let me just put this aside and let's go back to our Minecraft. So you can pretty much erase all this other stuff, but for this purposes, I'm just going to take this one out and put an eight there and I'm gonna save my profile just like that and then press play and we should be good to go so let's load it up and wait for this thing to come up and I'm gonna show you a couple more tricks that you can do so let's go to single player let's just create a new world and test things out creative and let's wait for it to load up all right and here we go now I'm going to pause this for just a moment and I'm going to show you one more thing you do before we get into the actual Optifine optimization. So let's pause this. So what you're going to want to do is right click on your taskbar and go to start task manager. You're going to click processes. Normally it's already on applications but I had this up earlier. You're going to go to processes and javaw.exe. You're going to right click that, go to set priority and you're going to set this to high so that way your Java which is what Minecraft is running through is set to high. So change priority. And just like that, it's set to high. So now, once you have all these things going on, you're going to have a lot of frames. And the way to actually test how many frames per second your Minecraft is running at is you'll press F3. Now, you'll see in the top left corner, in the second line, it says Minecraft 1.8. And then right below that, it says 305, 311 frames per second. So my Minecraft is running really fast. You guys can't actually tell how fast... It is because YouTube will only allow 30 frames per second to be shown, but this is basically as seamless as it gets. Now, if you have a lower end computer, this might not be enough for you, and there are ways to optimize it further. So we're gonna press escape, and we're gonna go to options, and we're gonna go to our video settings. So you have a whole ton of things over here. There's a lot of things you can do to change it up, and basically you're gonna wanna turn everything to as low as possible. So for example, with frame rate, this is the one thing you wanna put towards max, because you don't wanna limit yourself in this regard at all. 
If you have issues with your render distance and it, it giving you a lot of lag, you can lower this to the minimum and you'll see if I unpause, my frames per second should go up significantly. So you see in the top left corner, I'm actually at over a thousand frames per second. I don't need to do this and it does make your game look not as good. You'll see like the fog is a lot closer, but if you do have a slow computer, it will help you out a lot. But there are a ton of other things you can do. You want to, you know, get rid of clouds. You want to especially get rid of detail. So like everything here, clouds, trees, sky, etc. You want to get rid of all that. And that will pretty much speed up your your Minecraft as much as possible. There are other ways to do it, but these are the easiest ones to do and you don't have to be very computer proficient to get this all done. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. You'll see that as as I'm recording this right now, again, I'm still well over a thousand frames per second. And I think when I was testing this a little bit earlier with everything off, I got like somewhere around two to three thousand frames per second. It's almost, I mean, your eye really can't notice that much of a change, but you'll pretty much be playing Minecraft as seamlessly as possible, even under a pretty heavy load. Anyway, guys, if this video helped you out, a like would be appreciated and share it with your friends to help them out as well. And subscribe if you're new to the channel, because I'm having a lot of new stuff coming out, a lot of mod reviews and a lot of tutorials. And look forward to some stuff in the future. Anyway, guys, this was Smooth, and I'll see you guys all soon. Take it easy.